Hello YouTube and welcome to our 52nd Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial, carrying on from the other one, we're going to now edit so you can change characters or transform into them. So at last tutorial we did it so that when we press the T key um, it brought up our transform window like so. We can move it, we can play with it. If you press this we want it to transform now. We don't do it at the moment but that's what we want. So again, there you go. It shows it that it's working. So, um, as last so I said I'm going to do a wolf. So carrying on, I'm going to do a wolf. So I found this wolf on the internet on our website. The picture doesn't make it look really good, but when you put it in, it actually does look a lot better. Um, but yeah, so thanks to that guy for doing it. Um, please show some ratings if you're logged in, which I am not. So I downloaded that and if you look I put it in here. So here's my wolf. So as you can see if we drag this out, there we go. So it looks really good. Um that's a good size for it, so I'm gonna keep it at that size. It's on for anyone who wants to do it, it's on three. Um Unity 4 has got these things, we'll be looking at the rigs and animations another time. But what they basically allow you to do is with our Shao Kong character, if we click character. As you all know, he's got split up into good parts with bones, and I told you all where we did all the rotations for the animation. The rig basically allows you to set one up like that, and then put custom animations into it. So, um, if any of you know what motion capture is, I'm not going to go into it, but basically it allows you to get motion capture data and make it move. So, it's really, really good. We could possibly get some really good animations for that, but yeah. So, carrying on. Um, I'm going to try and position the wolf um, at the best possible place I can. So wolf, lift him up closer to his stomach. So he just looks like he's actually with him. Put him in the middle and I'll do it. So now what I'm going to do is just rename this to something better than wolf. The wolf, lowercase, so it looks neater. So we've got a shell con and all we're going to do is drag him in like that. But we can't have both active at once. So what are we are going to do? just disable the wolf because we start off as Shao Kahn as it is. So we've got that and the plan is, what we do is when we click a button this one gets disabled and the other one gets enabled but if we press another button um, the wolf gets disabled, Shao Kahn gets enabled and then we can have a long list of things that just click 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 but there's going to be a little cheat that we're going to do so we in every single button we're not going to put disable this, disable this, disable this, disable this we're going to have one function to do it all the time so it'll be really really good so we've done that now what's the plan we'll open up our transform GUI which is here so oh also I've designed some icons before we go in one for the wolf so the button's got a proper icon so it's just like a howling wolf I'll get um, that's in the description and I did one for Shao Kahn which looks good I really need to work on my Photoshop skills some more but yeah so we've got that oh so we need to have first make that into a variable so we can store it so transform GUI so here we go. So let's make them into two texture variables. Why not? So here we've got our wolf icon. So we might as well just copy that. And we'll put put it above it because it's alphabetical. We'll call this Khan icon. So we've got a wolf and we've got a Shao Khan icon. So if we go back in, click a character, and scroll down. Where's our icons? So we've got a wolf. Boom. And we've got our shell come. Boom. There we go. So now what's next? Well, we need two of these positions and sizes for shell come. So put it there. Uh, we'll keep with the same name. Calm. Calm. So there we go. So we've got calm size and position. Um, again, I know the details of what it needs to be. So 158 and 130 for mine. <coughs> and the size will stay the same because I don't want it to be obscure or something. So we've now got them two. So if we lock some of this up so we can actually see it better. Here is where we decided to put it. So print, we don't need that anymore. And insert transform code, we don't need that. So we're going to put it in. This is super, super, super simple. So if anyone knows it, um, you'll know how easy it is. If anyone guessed it last time, virtual cookie, well done. Um, you probably guessed it right because it's really easy. So what we're going to do first is create a game object for it to store it. So we're not putting textures, we'll just put it below. Game objects. And we're going to type var wolf. Um, 
yeah game object so wolf is a game object because if you all know when you disable a game object you can't find it again because it's disabled so if you store it in a variable you've always got access to it so it's really really good so now we've done that we're going to type wolf dot game object and now because the wolf if you look at the wolf has got children inside which I actually don't know if it's needed or not so if we have a look it's got white one which we don't need so you can delete that and it's got light two which we don't need so technically we don't we you could just put wolf there so we'll get wolf and just put wolf like that so there's a wolf standard wolf nothing on it nothing special so if we go back in we, on this one we can just put game object dot um active equals false which is really good but um, part of the new Unity 4 is that doesn't work anymore. It does work, but it's going to be took out soon. So the new code, for anyone who doesn't know, is wolf. Um, I can't remember. Uh, oh, is it ga game object dot set active? That's it. And then you put brackets and then put what you want, like so. So it's a bit different to where it is. You still put the game object, but then you need to put set active and then put in brackets. Um, and half of the warnings here, um, set active, set active, set active, set active, a lot of them were telling us to change it. It's, it will still work as you saw, but um, it's just best to work against it for now. So we just take that away. And now we've got wolf.setActive equals true, false. So, wait, that should be true. Yeah, there we go. So that's doing that. But now how do we disable Shao Kahn? Well we could put it in here over and over again but that won't be a bit tedious. So below here we're going to type function deactivate all, I don't know, it's just a cool name. And capital letters to make it look cooler. There we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to disable all the game objects. So wolf.gameobject.setactive um, bracket false. So as you can see, I'm very, very used to the equals true. That's how I learned it when I learned in Unity. But yeah, so we've done that. But what about shall come? What about if you want to transform back? Um, so we're going to copy this and just paste it above it. And we'll type shall come. Did I spell it right? Oh yeah, it's goody. So we've done that. Now um, we want calm position. Copy that. Calm size. And we want car icon. But do we have an icon icon? Yes we do. So that's all good. Now what we want is to set the car object dot and this is where we need to change this to game object dot set active recursively. Ah, oh, I can never spell recursively. There we go. And this so if you're used to using this a lot, the new cats from code will be easy. But this is the custom um, Shao Kahn has children if you remember he has all these so you don't just want to enable that you want to disable enable all of them so it doesn't understand Khan because we never added it so we need to add Khan as a game object so just add that and Khan so that's that done but now it still doesn't disable it down here so we just copy this one paste it in here and type false there we go so now as soon as I put this deactivate, deactive all, well, okay, um, in here, and go to the end, semicolon, copy this and paste it back in. Now that's pretty much done of the transform. So as you can see, it's all it is, what we did this tutorial was a button. That's pretty much it to transform. So you could put anything on, as long as you click a button, you could have it hit a car, or if you put, hit some smoke pallet, as long as you put that and then just flick the other one off it's like on off on off it works um, if you're using it for a car just set your cars here car one that active equals true and you'll trade between the cars we'll eventually put animations in so he gets down like a wolf and then he transforms because I think that'll be cool but yeah we could like have some fancy jump up effect or something now I already know that that dog is going to be alive so we need dog wolf Unhide that wolf. Now try again. So we press T. We now have a better looking transform window. So we've got two. So we click wolf. 
and we have not assigned it. So we need to go down to here and assign it. So wolf and wolf and Khan and Khan. Boom. Now we try it and it should work seamlessly, flawlessly, amazingly. That and ready. Let's click the wolf. Kaboof. Now we are a wolf. So we can still deafen me with that. So uh, it's got a slow down time. It's a very clever wolf. Uh, we've got no Hadouken. And our Hadouken has disappeared. But yeah, so if we click Shao Kahn, boom, he trades back. The exact same, he carries on with the animations. So you can flick between them. So it's really good. That Joker's face is still scary, but yeah. So, um, that's really, really good. We can still go out between levels, but I'm not sure if it'll work. If we're the wolf, we can still use the inventory. So as you can see, it's pretty much the exact same. It's the exact same code. So it's really, really good. Um, the reason it is the exact same code, if you can't figure it out, is because all the scripts are actually on the character, which is apparent to everything else. So you could put a million different things in here and work the same. Um, I won't worry too iris, yeah, let's just go back into it. If you look, an iris is the eye, so the wolf's eyes are white, let's make them red. So let's just change the tint colour. Did that work? So that's one. Where's the other one? Eye. Not that one, that one. We'll just make them red eyes because they look cool. There we go. And we're just going to change the wolf eye anyway, just to make it red. There we go, so as you can see, a wolf's now got red eyes, so it looks cool. Even though we can't see it, but yeah. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, next tutorial, we're going to go over particles, which is so we can add some, like, as he changes it, goes poof with smoke, then disappears. Really, really cool. Um, then after, I'm planning to add a new, um, what you call it, creature, and then eventually we could, like, make each creature work independently. So, like, the right, um, the thing I'm planning for the later tutorials will do more damage than both of them. But the wolf will be fastest and Shao Kahn will be... I don't know. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please like it and see you later.